a new look at a star factory, practicing moonwalks here on Earth, and an earthly assist for a NASA spacecraft. A few of the stories to tell you about this week at NASA. A new Webb Space Telescope image of the iconic Pillars of Creation, a star factory of sorts, is visually stunning and could help us better understand how stars form within clouds of gas and interstellar dust. An analog mission this month to practice lunar operations near Flagstaff, Arizona will provide crucial data for future Artemis moon missions. Learn more about analog missions at nasa.gov analogs. Our Lucy spacecraft swung back by Earth on October 16th, exactly one year after its launch. The close flyby also gave Lucy the first of several gravity assists it needs from Earth to reach the never-before-visited Trojan asteroids that share an orbit with Jupiter. Lithium-ion battery packs installed in our all-electric X-57 Maxwell aircraft successfully powered the plane's motors. This important milestone brings the experimental plane a step closer to first flight. Former NASA astronaut Jim McDivitt who commanded the Gemini 4 and Apollo 9 missions, died on October 13th. Jim McDivitt was 93 years old. That's what's up this week at NASA. For more on these and other stories, follow us on the web at nasa.gov twan.